That's the one you choose, huh? This is that, it. That's a juicy looking one. I like it. It was the best looking one to me. So <laughs> we're going to go with it. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Today, we're going to try some dove hunting. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> when I say try, I really mean try. Let's take a look. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, check it out. It's blowing out of the north at like 20 mile an hour and it is just spitting rain constantly on and off on and off yesterday it was 97 degrees we had dove everywhere out here on the power lines up there oh yeah there were like 10 doves just sitting there yesterday today not one <laughs> but we're going anyways we're gonna try going out with jordan today on his cut corn piece there's been a lot of dove out there but under these conditions right now, let's uh, check out the weather. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right now, it's uh, 41 degrees. It's actually 51 degrees, but with all this blowing mist and the dew point being so high, the real feel with the north wind is 41. And I'm gonna go try dove hunting. <laughs> yeah, having uh, all these cameras and rain and mist, it's not a lot of fun. I hope that we can get it done. I hope that we can get something on the ground. That's why today I chose to do the 15 shot challenge. 15 morning dove is a one man day limit here in Kansas. So I'm like, you know what? Since we're not gonna shoot a lot, we might as well try to just use 15 shells for 15 dove. Now it would be amazing if I actually made it happen, limit out 15, 15, but on a day like today, ah, uh, you know, it's better to try it today than wait. And the main reason is, is because cold fronts, they push all of our doves south, like you all know. But this is the first day of the cold front. So they, some of them might still be sticking around. I don't know, but we need to try. Before we get into it today, if you guys want to help support the channel, if you guys want to check out all of the Ducks waterfowl gear, oh yeah, the sandstone hoodies, all of the camo hats, we got a bunch of different ones. I'll link everything down in the description below. Whenever you guys purchase something, it goes directly to helping your boy bring you guys more of these videos. I mean it. But I'm grabbing my shells. We out of here. Oh, well, we're in the field here. Mm, and it's spitting still. Spitting rain. That is not fun when you have a camera on your gun and a camera on your head. Not fun at all. Yo! It's cold out here. Yeah, and it's wet. Yes, well, on and off. Catch me, good. Well, we're out here. Man, that, is that the mojo that makes that? Yeah. Sounds like a dove. Oh, Let me tell you, it sounds like a dove. We're sitting down, we're sitting on our buns. We're with Jordan, the old, you know it, bearded man himself. He's out here. He shot a lot of limits. Look at the, look at the water hitting the lens. I'm sorry if y'all have some water on the lens during this hunt. It's the way it goes. I mean, we're out here trying. Three, wait, wait, three shell. No, 15 <laughs> shell challenge, 15 shell challenge. This is what I got going on today. Yes, yes, I do have some high bird. I'm only gonna use, or I'm gonna set aside 15 of them just so I know how many I have shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Put away one. Okay, I got three in my gun. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Then, so the one dove hunt that we did opening day, they all asked me why in the heck didn't you do a catch clean cook? I know, I know. We're gonna do it on this one if I can kill something. We're gonna have to take some. We're gonna have to take some pokes today, boys. <laughs> it's just gonna how it's gonna be. This weather, the weather, this weather is very wet. Okay, it's wet. It's very windy. It's not ideal. Not ideal situations. Hold on. I'll wipe this lens eh, probably a hundred times in the next hour. But if you appreciate us getting out here, smash the thumbs up button for one. And for two, if you haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, you need to, because he's been putting up dove hunts as well. Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it. That's a poke. That's that's a 50. <laughs> that's the closest one we've had yet. So far. 50 yards. Oh, on your left. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Shoot him. No, you gotta shoot him, Jordan. Ah. 
Ow! Ow! start flying that gives me I think I just wasted two shots of my 15 what? two <laughs> shots of the 15 down the drain closest bird yet yeah about 40 yards I 45 smoked him. Ah, he Jordan good tried good giving good me the benefit of the doubt Ooh, one coming sorry right, false time does it kill deer oh killed deer just kidding uh, well, is he are these all killed deer yeah. yeah four of them actually so Jordan was like, he laid down and let me try to take a shot because he's, he's already downed one or two before I got here. What a guy. I'm trying. What a guy. What a friend. Oh, they're going to do, the they gotta do that. We might go. Dude, we could have shot a bunch if we were sitting on them weeds right there. It's not too late to move. Let's go. Let's do it. If that was a five pack we could have got into. Yep. All right, we're going to switch it up. We uh, have found the flight line of the day here. We got to go get under the flight line. Oh, did you get one? Darn it. Well, this is what we got going on. We got buckets behind the truck. We're using the truck as a wind block. That is the situation. Oh, there went one right over our heads. See you, bud. See you, man. Oh, this was a flight. Oh, look at this lens, my goodness. So yeah, we're sitting up against these weeds. Like I was saying, this is the flight line. Hopefully, I'll shoot something for us to eat later. <laughs> Might be having tag soup. Oh, here, here we go. Two on your left over there. Come on now. Come on over. Come on over, baby. That's a good old jam right there. That's an old, That's an old swimming one. pool jam. Oh, uh, oh yeah, get him. Oh, go down. Oh. Yeah, the first bird of the hey. day. Dude, he was gonna hit my truck. He got real close. I bet he's two foot away. I bet he's two foot away. Thank goodness I pulled the trigger here and not here. <laughs> that was awesome. That was a quick shot, dude. He caught that wind and that boy was gone. All right, where'd he go? Where are you at, birdie, birdie, birdie? Oh, there he is. Bam, truck's right there. Heck yeah, first bird down, smash that thumbs up button. Come on with it. You know my dream is to shoot a band. A banded dove. Sorry for all the water on the screen, but this is fun. One on the left. Well, I've shot five shells. Five shells, one bird. Hey, that's still better than like the national average. Actually, yeah. yeah, just a touch better than national average. What's the least. national average? It's like three birds per box. Three birds per box? Those, those may be old stats though. I need, I need to look that up. Don't quote me on that. Three birds per box. It may be. Ridiculous. It may be. This is a horrible day to dove hunt, but I guess we're lucky. We, we have more dove than others, maybe. Oh, well, a four pack just went by us. We were gabbing, not paying attention. Here's another three pack. Looks like they're going to do about the same thing the others did. Oh, or they're just going to come right to us. That's even better. Ready? <laughs> Get him, Bill! Oh, I can't shoot. Oh, yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Did you get one? Yeah, you just went down a little bit. Nice! Thanks for giving me the close one. <laughs> Woo! Number two! The wind is crazy, y'all. Crazy! Oh, did he die? He's not dead, but... Is that a yes or a no? Okay, there's my one bird. Are you going that way? 
I'm gonna get my one bird here. Well, there's another two shell shot, I believe. Woo, number two, I might have number three on the board. Come on, sister. No. That wind is brutal on them. Yeah, they're fighting it's it hard. Them so hard. Yeah. So one thing about it, um, the wind is just increasing. We just went through a little bit of a rain shower. It wasn't bad, it stopped. We were getting ready to leave. And then right when it stopped, we've seen probably six dove in the last four minutes. Right now, I have eight shots left. What is that, seven? Yeah. <laughs> seven shots, I'm, I am not a mathematician. Uh, seven shots, two birds, two and a half. The one that went down, he actually wasn't all the way down. Jordan finished him off, so not bad. It's not going bad for the conditions. This just shows you guys. One thing, I wanna get this in there real fast. It's, uh, it's something that humans battle with a lot, and that is comfort. Um, there's a lot of times a lot of us get up and we're like, we plan to hunt, but it's sprinkling or it's sleeting outside or maybe it's raining. I urge you guys to at least load up, get to the field, sit there a minute and just wait, wait it out. Get to the field. You never know. The conditions might lift up and you never know. You might go, it might lift and it might be the best darn hunt of your life. Always get out there. Give it a go. We have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well there's my third bird. Let's go get it. Don't trip over the cattle fence. Man, that was awesome. He came right up the gut. He was actually on Jordan's side and then he came right to my side. Where are you at? Where are you at? There he is. There he is. Yeah, that was awesome. Clean shot on him. Fighting that wind, boy. Whew. Get back to my wind block. Ooh, it's bad out there. You thought I was just being nice by letting you shoot. I was like, I ain't getting that. <laughs> oh boy, howdy. Ugh, it is, uh, now it's uh, the actual degrees. Not real, Phil. Not the, not the, not the uh, wind chill. 47 degrees out, and it's still raining. But eight shots is what I took. I had seven left over. And three confirmed birds down one bird that I wounded and then Jordan took care of. So, realistically, that's not bad. Oh, there's one. He's going to our field where we're just leaving. Not bad. Not bad at all, to be honest. Um, I think that's a lot better than the national average. I didn't know that there was a national average on uh, on dove on dove hunting and how many you shoot per per shell, but per box. But uh news to me, Jordan's always filled with some sort of offhand important <laughs> information. Let's go back to the house and I'm gonna clean these birds up and we're gonna do a little bacon wrap goodness, baby. Oh, oh, and we're gonna make the wife and kids eat them too. Well, it is the next day, <laughs> midday actually, and guess what? Oh yeah, it's still raining out, still. It's actually picked up a bunch which is good because a lot of my duck ponds have been drying up on me. Whew, I've went and looked at a bunch of them and uh, they are drying up very quickly. So I'm really hoping that the forecast is right, that it's actually going to rain this much for the next two days, three days hopefully. But as you can tell, we're in the kitchen and we're at it. Check it out. Oh yeah, I got them all made up. I had uh, some dove left over from the last hunt I did so I, wrapped them up as well. Here's our dove. I took our dove breast, there she is, really small, and overnight last night, just for, you know, I, I like this stuff right here, I marinated it just overnight. Lemon, herb, vinaigrette, a little bit, and then a little bit of that in a Ziploc baggie, oh yeah. That all meat seasoning, it's just not meat seasoning, it is all seasoning. I use it on my potatoes, on my corn on the cob, about everything. So we did that and now we're gonna take this, give her a good old pop. We're gonna put us a little dash, ooh, easy Bob, easy. A little dashing on our bacon. Oh yeah, just like that right there. If you guys want to try out the ducks all meat seasoning, I'm telling you, if you like butter, garlic, 
and a little pepper, you'll love it. Goes good on anything, I will link it, you know it, down below in the description. I'm telling you, it's cheap enough, go pick you up a bottle. You will, I promise, come back and get you another one. In fact, all of my, all, all you guys out there that have bought it, drop a comment down below and tell these folks that haven't bought it how good it is. Just, just go down there and peep it. But the wife had all the ingredients ready for me when I got home. Uh, the only thing is we had bell pepper, green bell pepper, instead of jalapeno. Yes, that kind of sucks. But I still put cream cheese in there, wrapped it all with bacon, and with this duck seasoning, it's going to be amazing. I can guarantee you. Oh, ho, ho, boys, the grill is good and ready to go. Oh, hold on, get on them crocs. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom. Look at that. It's cold out. I mean, it's cold. Oh, the old Traeger, baby. I love my Traeger. There is nothing better than a Traeger. So, little secret that Jordan taught me. Put the cream cheese down immediately. Right when you put them on, cream cheese goes down. The reason being is you'll be able to cook some of that meat with the meat being on the bottom. Put the meat and the cream cheese down. So meat side down. You'll be able to cook it, like I was saying before I just got distracted. You'll be able to cook some of that meat before the cream cheese melts. That's the ticket. So last one. Oh, get on there, buddy. There we go. Boom. Yeah, so I never really knew that, but you want to put the meat side down, cream cheese side down. Don't put the bottom of the pepper down first. Again, because you won't lose all your cream cheese that way. If you notice, I know you guys have done it out there because I have too. You put the bot, the pepper side down because you don't want the cream cheese to spill out. Then when you turn it, it all just runs out. Pro tip, pro tip. Thank you, Jordan. All right, you're good. You can look. <laughs> you got to eat some with me. Oh my. It's Dove. Okay. You've had you've had my dove poppers before, haven't you? Actually, I don't think so. You've had pigeon. Dove's better than pigeon. I don't think I've actually tried a popper. Well, these aren't jalapeno poppers. These are just your regular old green bell pepper that you that you had in the, uh, in the fridge. Should be All right, she's down. That's the one you choose, huh? Is that, that? That's a juicy looking one. I like it. It was the best looking one to me. So <laughs> we're gonna go with it. Well, try her out. Don't. It's probably still a little hot. Well, I got kids to pick up. I know you do. You gotta go pick up Bodie Allen from his first day of school. Is it hot? Careful, that cream cheese might be hot, babe. Extra good. <laughs> you love it. It's good. It's so good. I know. Mm. It's no joke. Mm. If she reacts that way, I'm telling you right now, it's good. Eat the whole thing. Are you hungry? I can't eat the whole thing. Why? Yeah, you can. You can eat the whole thing. On a diet. Little. Oh, you're, oh, you're on a <laughs> diet. Easy, girl. You don't need to eat the bell on the... pepper. Huh? I'll just eat the bell pepper. Because you're on a diet. Well, oh. you can munch down on it. Screw the diet, huh? The bacon's the only thing that's going against your diet. The dove is the most leanest meat that you'll eat. Okay. Good. The dove is really good. Dove is really, really good meat. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Look at that. Juicy. Mm. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Did you season it? Mm-hmm. Duck season. season it with? Ducks. Ducks, and last night I marinated it in that lemon herb. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Perfect. Wow. The meat's like medium done, a little over medium. Perfect. No, I'm I surprised. wouldn't cook it, huh? I'm surprised. Um, yeah, I know it's that good, isn't it? It's better than chicken. I mean, it's, it's but super, it's like tastes like chicken, but moist. but better. Mm -hmm. It's like the best chicken you've ever tasted, pretty much. Yeah, I would eat that as a meal. Mm-hmm. Well, there's plenty there. Larry. Woo! Oh boy, howdy! That is one of the main reasons. Why I have missed dove season. I knew Beth would love it. She's never tasted it. Boom, she loved it. 
I want to thank y'all for being here. Uh, I'm loving that you're loving the dove hunts. With you guys loving the dove hunts, it's telling me that this season is gonna be amazing. I can see my breath. That makes me happy. <laughs> I hope you all are psyched up. I hope you all are getting ready for the season. I hope you all are getting out there. All these states that are north of me that your teal season's open. I hope you all are getting out there, darn it. This weather right here is going to push in some teal for Saturday. And I'm going to love it. I'm ready. I got all my decoys ready. My waders are ready. I'm ready. Fred, he's at the, uh, he's still at the trainer. And I think it's going to be a little bit. I might try to take him away with me on one hunt. But the bad thing is, like you guys have been here, I'm not going to be able to let him break. So I don't know if that means leashing him down. If it's just me and him on a solo hunt or what. But I want to take him public land duck hunting here like we did last year. If y'all like that, let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell because it'll notify you when your boy uploads. And I just checked again. There's only Now we're down to like 39% of y'all that have not subscribed. You have to subscribe. Come on, take two seconds. And not only that, if you love duck hunting, dove hunting, goose hunting, the next four months, here we go. We got the whole lodge and clients coming. We're going to be telling a lot of stories, a lot of videos to come. Again, thank you all for being here. But until next time.